For decades, our picture of the early universe was one of a quiet awakening. Light slowly broke through the darkness, with the first stars cautiously forming and galaxies assembling only after hundreds of millions of years. But the James Webb Space Telescope has once again taken that carefully drawn timeline and torn it apart. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why, as we delve into another mystery surrounding James Webb Telescope just caused panic at NASA. In its latest deep field observations, Webb has reached farther into the past than ever before, right to the threshold of what it was designed to see. And what it has found there could rewrite the story of the cosmic dawn entirely. Objects so far away that their light began its journey just 100 million years after the Big Bang. Objects so luminous that they defy the limits of our galaxy formation models. And the most shocking part? Some of them might not be galaxies at all, but something far stranger. Primordial black holes, born in the first seconds of time itself. This is not just a new record for the James Webb Space Telescope. It's a record for humanity's reach into the cosmos. And it's forcing scientists to ask if we've been wrong about the universe's first chapter all along. Until Webb, our best glimpses of the cosmic dawn came from Hubble, which could see galaxies with red shifts up to about 11, corresponding to around 400 to 600 million years after the Big Bang. Even the most distant galaxy confirmed, spectroscopically, sat at a redshift of 9, about 600 million years post-Big Bang. Webb's infrared capabilities shattered that ceiling almost immediately, pushing detections to redshift 14, about 300 million years after the beginning. But its latest observations have pushed that limit much farther, identifying six candidates at redshift 17, just 200 million years after the Big Bang, and three others that may lie at an astonishing redshift of 25. That's light that has been traveling for 13.6 billion years, from a time when the universe was less than 1% of its current age. This alone would be extraordinary, but the real shock comes from their nature. These objects are massive, yet young, around 30 million years old, with relatively little dust and ultraviolet luminosity so high that they stand out even from this unfathomable distance. That level of energy output simply shouldn't be possible if the early universe was as hot, dense, and resistant to star formation as our models have long suggested. By analyzing their light across multiple infrared filters, Webb has revealed a diversity in size and structure among these candidates. Some appear compact, point-like, and barely 180 light-years across, too small to fit our idea of a fully formed early galaxy while others stretch up to 700 light-years in diameter, more consistent with primitive galactic structures. But whether compact or extended galaxies would require an efficiency far beyond what we believe possible for the cosmic dawn. One explanation is that these are galaxies made of population three stars, the first generation of stars forged from pristine hydrogen and helium, massive, hot, and short-lived. These stars would flood their surroundings with ultraviolet light, explaining the brightness Webb detects. Yet even this theory strains under the sheer number of such objects that Webb seems to be finding. That leaves room for a more radical alternative, one that suggests these aren't galaxies at all. In a separate study, astrophysicists have proposed that many of these ultraluminous points could be primordial black holes, objects formed directly from the collapse of dense regions in the first seconds after the Big Bang, bypassing star formation entirely. If such black holes, tens of thousands of times the mass of our Sun, settled into small dark matter halos and rapidly accreted gas, they could shine brightly in ultraviolet light, mimicking the appearance of compact galaxies while being something entirely different. This theory would not only explain their intense brightness, but also why some appear far too small to be galaxies. More importantly, it would solve a long-standing mystery. 
how supermassive black holes managed to exist less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These primordial seeds could have been the starting points, growing over cosmic time into the giants we see anchoring galaxies today. As thrilling as these discoveries are, they remain candidates. Impressive, record-breaking candidates, but candidates nonetheless. The current redshift estimates come from photometric measurements, which analyze brightness across different filters. To confirm their true distance and nature, astronomers need spectroscopic observations capable of detecting the specific fingerprints of elements like hydrogen, helium, or heavier metals. If these objects contain only hydrogen and helium, it would point toward primordial black holes or population three stars. If elements like carbon or oxygen appear, it would mean we're seeing more evolved stellar populations. Either way, the outcome would profoundly reshape our understanding of the early universe. Until then, Webb's latest findings stand as a tantalizing glimpse into an epoch never seen before, and perhaps into the birth of the very first structures the cosmos ever knew. Pushing the James Webb Space Telescope to detect objects at Redshift 25 is like trying to hear a whisper from across a stadium during a roaring crowd. The photons reaching its mirrors have traveled for over 13.6 billion years, stretched into the far infrared by the expansion of the universe, and their signal is barely above the background noise. To separate genuine ancient light from false positives, caused by nearer galaxies or cosmic dust, scientists use an intricate process of multi-filter imaging combined with statistics. Risk of misidentification is high. This is why Webb's deepest observations require not just long exposure times, but also painstaking calibration to ensure that every faint signature is genuine. The challenge is so extreme that it's pushing the limits of the telescope's engineering and forcing astronomers to rethink what might actually be possible with its instruments. Should spectroscopy confirm that these distant objects are indeed galaxies made up of population three stars, the implications would be staggering. We would finally have direct evidence of the universe's first generation of stars, an elusive goal in astronomy for decades. These stars, far more massive and hotter than our sun, would have burned through their fuel in just a few million years, producing the first heavy elements and triggering the chemical evolution of the cosmos. Their supernova explosions could have rapidly enriched surrounding gas, allowing the next generations of stars and galaxies to form at a pace we never expected. This would mean the early universe was not the slow, gradual buildup we once imagined, but a cosmic furnace igniting almost instantly after the Big Bang, forcing a complete rewrite of the first 300 million years of cosmic history. If instead, these candidates turn out to be primordial black holes, the consequences would be even more dramatic. Such a finding would validate one of the most radical theories in cosmology, that black holes can form without stars directly from the collapse of dense regions of matter in the early universe. This would solve the riddle of how supermassive black holes appeared so early. But it could also mean that a significant fraction of what we call dark matter is actually made of these ancient objects. That would fundamentally change the way we approach dark matter research, shifting the focus from exotic particles to astrophysical relics from the dawn of time. It might even mean that black holes have been shaping the large-scale structure of the universe since its earliest moments, far earlier than galaxies themselves. These discoveries mark the beginning of what could become Webb's most important legacy, revealing the true nature of the cosmic dawn. But to get there, astronomers will need to coordinate a global effort using not just Webb's instruments for spectroscopy, but also the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, ground-based observatories like the extremely large telescope in Chile, and perhaps even next-generation gravitational wave detectors. Each new observation will add another piece to the puzzle, 
narrowing the gap between speculation and certainty. What's becoming clear is that Webb is more than just a successor to Hubble. It's a game changer in our quest to understand where we came from. By breaking its own records, it's not just showing us the universe as it was. It's revealing a version of cosmic history that no one expected. One that could challenge the very foundations of cosmology. Decades to come. The James Webb Space Telescope was meant to be the ultimate cosmic historian, peering into the first moments of light and refining the picture of our origins. Instead, it has done something far more disruptive. It has shattered the neat timeline we thought we understood and replaced it with something messier, faster, and infinitely more mysterious. In breaking its own records, Webb hasn't just set new observational milestones, it has exposed gaps in our understanding big enough to swallow some of our most trusted theories. If these record-breaking objects are galaxies of population three, stars, then the first chapter of the universe wasn't a slow spark in the darkness, it was a sudden blaze igniting the cosmos with intense heat and light almost immediately after the Big Bang. But if they are primordial black holes, then our entire model of cosmic evolution may have to be rewritten. With black holes, not stars, playing the starring role in shaping the universe's earliest structures. Either path forces us to face the uncomfortable truth that the universe is more efficient, more extreme, and more unpredictable than our equations can currently handle. And this is just the beginning. Every time Webb pushes deeper into the dark, it risks finding something that will once again force us back to the drawing board. We may be standing at the threshold of a scientific revolution, one where the story of the universe we tell our children will be very different from the one we grew up believing. Because if Webb has proven anything, it's that the cosmos has no intention of fitting neatly into the limits we've placed on it. And as we chase the light from those first moments of creation, we may find that the truth about our origins is stranger, more beautiful, and more dangerous than we ever imagined. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.